A very warm welcome from the Palace of Holyrood House. Now I never intended to post anything from this day out, but we were just so taken by the place, especially with the Christmas decorations up, that I've sewn together any clips we took on the day into something half resembling a video. I hope you still enjoy it. This is still the principal royal residence in Scotland and it has been since the 16th century. It's therefore very much still a working palace, not just a museum, and you really feel that as you walk around. If you get the opportunity to visit, I'd recommend picking up the free audio tour which brings the rich history of the palace to life with some genuinely interesting commentary. From the central courtyard, we now make our way in through the main entrance, the same staircase used by dignitaries for hundreds of years, and what a stunning entrance it is. And it also feels surreal to have the place pretty much to ourselves for the whole tour. From here in the magnificent dining room, a quick glance out the window shows our location, next to the Parliament building at the foot of the Royal Mile here in Edinburgh. The Royal Mile then runs all the way up to the castle. The tour now takes us deeper into the palace and through the rooms still used by the royal family to this day to entertain heads of state from around the world. It feels warm and homely here, if a little bit dark, but this is mainly due to the mesh coverings on the windows to protect the paintings. I'm sure when Her Majesty's here, it's a whole lot brighter. Now we might think we're alone here, but not quite. Somewhere wandering around is the naked ghost of Bald Agnes, stripped and tortured in 1592 accused of witchcraft. Unfortunately, she didn't come and see us today. We now move back in time through the centuries to the King's Bedchamber, now back in the day, in this elaborate bedroom, special guests would have the honour of watching the king go to bed from here. How weird and slightly disturbing that sounds today. In the Great Gallery you'll see a series of paintings by Jakob de Vett showing the ancestry of the king. Now de Vett used creative license to make all portraits appear similar to Charles II with his piercing stare and prominent nose, all of this designed to underline the authority of his path to the throne. We now move up the spiral stone staircase to the bedchamber of Holyrood's most famous resident of all, Mary Queen of Scots. This is a dark corner of the palace filled with a rich colourful history, including murder. The ruins of Holyrood Abbey, founded in 1128, still hug this side of the palace to this day. In fact, the palace itself was only designed as an abbey guesthouse in the 15th century, and then further developed through the years to what we see today.
from the Abbey we get a glimpse of the ancient foundations in the gardens of the palace. We'll now head out to these secluded gardens where you feel a million miles away from the hustle and bustle of Edinburgh beyond. Again out here we have the whole place to ourselves, apart from a few royal pigeons and squirrels like this little fella here. We finish up at the southern side of the palace where the Queen hosts the garden party each summer. You can see the summit of Arthur's seat in the background. This is the only place other than Buckingham Palace itself to host such parties. Thanks so much for coming along with us today, hopefully we'll be back soon with a proper video. Wishing you all the best for 2021.